ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರಿಹರ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಟಿಂಪನೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಿಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಅಕರ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ವಿತ್ atresia which means there is a complete loss of the normal features in the hearing and auditory system in the ear system here the ear canal is normal there is a ear drum you have these ossicles which transmit the sound into the inner ear and the mechanical electrical interface is the inner ear wherein the sound that is produced outside is heard and transmitted as a mechanical sound and that is converted by stimulation of the nerves into an electrical impulse which goes to the brain now here the tympanic cavity gains importance because it is the transmitter of sound the pressure within the tympanic cavity has to be equal to the pressure outside if there is an isobaric pressure between the two sides of the eardrum normal hearing is possible if there is a drop in pressure as a result of which there is a gradient of pressure one or the other side there is a problem so making sure there is an air filled cavity is the purpose of tympanoplasty so one of the other requirements will be to make sure the transmission happens if the eardrum is ruptured the eardrum rupture has to be corrected or if there is a change in the structural features as a result of which there is a loss of continuity of the ossicles that has to be restored so tympanoplasty is a procedure wherein you are restoring the continuity of the structures in the middle ear making sure the pressure in the middle ear is normal and the ear drum is normal only then will the transmission process be normal as a result of which you get good hearing so tympanoplasty is to correct the anomalies which are there in the ear as a result of which you restore the normal hearing